Hello, today we'll talk about simultaneous equation. A simultaneous equation is a finite set of equations for which common solutions are sought. That is, when you have two linear equations to be solved together, they form a pair of simultaneous equations. There are several ways of solving simultaneous equations, but for this session, we'll look at two methods, which are the substitution method and the elimination method. The first example, we have 2x plus y equal to 16, 5x plus 2y equal to 36. To solve this, first we label the first equation as equation 1 and the second as equation 2. We pick up equation 1 and then we make y the subject of formula. Then we have y equal to 16 minus 2x. We now label this equation 3. To solve for x, we substitute 16 minus 2x for y in equation 2. And now we have 5x plus 2 open bracket 16 minus 2x close bracket equal to 36. We expand the bracket and we have 5x plus 32 minus 4x equal to 36. We bring out um, like terms and we have 5x minus 4x equal to 36 minus 32. We have x equal to 4. To find y, we input the value of x into either equation 1 or equation 2. For this example, we use equation 1. So we have 2x plus y equal to 16. 2 into bracket, open bracket 4 close bracket plus y equal to 16. We have 8 plus y equal to 16 and we have y equal to 16 minus 8 which is equal to 8. For this example, we have x equal to 4 and y equal to 8. The next example we have x plus y equal to 2 as equation 1 and 3 minus 2x equal to 1 as equation 2. Like we did earlier from equation 1, we make x the subject of formula and we have x equal to 2 minus y. We label this equation 3. We substitute this value for x in equation 2. So we have 3 open bracket 2 minus y close bracket minus 2y equal to 1. We expand the bracket and we have 6 minus 3y minus 2y equal to 1. Now we have minus 5y equal to 1 minus 6. We have minus 5y equal to minus 5. We divide both sides by minus 5 and we have y equal to 1. Now we impute the value of y into either equation 1 or equation 2. Now we have x plus y equal to 2 from equation 1 x plus 1 equal to 2 and now we have x equal to 2 minus 1 and we have x equal to 1 so for this for this example we have x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 we move on to the elimination method now first you have to understand that for the elimination method the aim is to eliminate one of the variables and we have just one variable left and that way we can easily solve for the remaining variable for this example, we have 3x minus 2y equal to 7 as equation 1. We have x plus 2y equal to minus 3 as equation 2. Now, if we consider the coefficient of x in equation 1 and coefficient of x in equation 2, we have 3 and 1. For this, we can't eliminate x. If we consider the coefficient of y in both equations, we have minus 2 and plus 2. And adding this up, we get zero. That's where we can easily eliminate y. So we add equation one and two together, and we have 3x plus x minus 2y plus 2y equal to 7 minus 3. In this case, 3x plus x is 4x, minus 2y plus 2y is zero, 7 minus 3 is 4. We divide both sides by 4, and we have 4x, we have x equal to 1. Now that we have a value for x, we can easily find y by substituting the value of x in either equation 1 or equation 2. Now we put 1 for x in equation 2, we have x plus 2y equal to minus 3, 1 plus 2y equal to minus 3. We make y the subject of the formula, we have minus 3 minus 1, which is minus 4, divided by 2. 
and we have y equal to minus 2. So for this equation, x is 1 and y is minus 2. For the next example, we have 3x plus 2y equal to 36, 5x plus 4y equal to 64. If we look at the variable y and we consider the coefficient of both variables, we see that in the equation 1, the, the coefficient of y is 2. y equation 2, the coefficient of y is 4. Now we aim to make the coefficient of both equations the same. That way we have to multiply equation 1 by 2 just so we can have the coefficient of y to be equal to the question in equation 1 to be equal to the question of y in equation 2. Now doing this we have 6 multiplying equation 1 by 2 we have 6x plus 4y equal to 72. Now we have the question of y in equation 3 and 2 to be 4. We can now subtract both equations from each other to eliminate y and then we'll be left with x as the only variable left. Doing this, we have 6x minus 5x plus 4y minus 4y equal to 72 minus 64. 6x minus 5x is x plus 4y minus 4y is 0. We have 72 minus 64 equal to 8. Now that we have a value for x, we can easily impute this value into either of the equations up there to get the value of y. Imputing this in equation 1, we have 3x plus 2y equals 36. 3 times 8 plus 2y equals 36. We have 24 plus 2y equals 36 and we have 2y equals 36 plus 24. We divide both sides by 2. We have 2y equal to 12 divided by 2 and we have y to 6. So for this equation, we have x equal to 8 and y equal to 6. Here are some practice questions for you. You can solve these questions using either the substitution method or the elimination method. Thank you.